Today I will talk about econometrics and economic data in Stata. Before you watch this video, make sure that you watch my other video called Econometrics and Economic Data. In this video, I will show you how to do uh, and how to read in different type of econo types of economic data in Stata. I have opened up here the Stata program and I have selected all the text and I clicked right here on do and this is the output coming from that program. What we will do today is uh, we will consider cross-sectional data, time series data, pooled cross-sections and panel or longitudinal data. And for this we would need the following four data files. So the, few, the first few lines here set up the program. Make sure that you put the data uh, somewhere on your computer and then you select the appropriate directory where this data is located. So let's talk about the first type of uh, data that we can see and that is cross-sectional data. So in the example that we will have here, we have cross-sectional data on wages and other characteristics. And here are the observations or the I dimension, the cross-sectional dim dimension are the individuals. We're loading the data set wage one. And the first thing that we can do is summarize uh, and describe the data. So if we're using the command describe, um, we can see that we have wage, education, experience, and many other variables are included in this uh, data set. And we have 24 variables and uh, 526 observations. This means 526 people in cross-sectional data. If we summarize the data, these are the mean standard deviation min and max for all of the variables. Uh, and again, we see wage is uh, $5.89. If we don't want to summarize the whole data, instead we can just summarize the data for a few select uh, variables. And if you list the variables after the summarize command, you will see a much shorter output with just the variables that we selected here. So these are the summary statistics. There are several ways to view data. One of them is to open here the data browser and uh, see the data that way. You can type the command browse executed that would open again the data for you to see or you can we can use the stata command list. If you just type the command list, it's going to show you all the data, all the variables and all the observations. So this is 24 variables, uh, 526 observations. So that's a lot to show on the output. We can, sum, we can list the data just for two uh, variables, or if we say list in 110, this means only the first 10 observations of the data. So let's combine all of that and put here listing Two variables in 110 means only 10, the first 10 observations. So this is the output for this command. So for the first 10 observations, we see wage and we see the log of wage um, uh, as, as listed. So instead of uh, having all the variables in the data set, we can only keep the variables that we uh, we desire in the data set. So out of the 24 variables I have chosen to keep wage, log wage, education, experience, experience squared, tenure, married, and female. So this way the other variables are no longer in the data set and if we uh, describe, summarize, and list the first 10 observations, we are working with a lot smaller data set uh, of uh, having only eight variables instead of the previous 24. And these are the summary statistics for them. But everything is the same as before for these eight variables that I selected. But once I hit list, these are the, um, the data set. Uh, the first uh, eight, eight variables, the first 10 observations. 
So this is the data set that I listed in the uh, previous presentation. And because we have cross-sectional data, the observations or the rows here are the individuals. Now we don't have their names, you know, but they belong to each individual eye uh, here. And if we look at these variables, um, say for example, education, education would be XI. It would be for observation I, this will be the education, this will be 11 years here and so forth. So again, we don't have the I here, we don't have the names of the people, but this is a, a cross-sectional uh, data. We can summarize um, what we would use later on is dependent variable wage, uh, common detail, this provides a lot more statistics. The mean and standard deviations are as before, but here we can have percentiles, smallest, largest values, and uh, some other statistics listed. Finally, we can uh, tabulate uh, and provide a frequency table by female. And so if we uh, enter tabulate female, uh, we can see that out of the 526 observations, 274 are not female and 252 are female in the data. So this is how cross-sectional data looks like if we are uh, calling to view it. Now let's turn our attention to time series data. Time series data has the T dimension in it, uh, which means a year or some other indication of time. So in this case, we would consider data on minimum wages and related variables. We can load this data set and then only keep these variables. When we uh, describe, summarize, and list the first 10 observations, here's what we see in the output window. As we're using the describe command, uh, we can see that there are 38 observations in the data, five variables. So the observations are the row, rows in the data. Here we have 38 years of data and five variables. These are the main variables that we can summarize years. Uh, we see that um, it's from 1950 to 1987, average minimum uh, wage. We have weighted uh, average coverage, the GMP and unemployment rate are some of the other variables. Uh, we can summarize this data set. Again, you see that is summarized um, across the 38 years. These are the means and the standard deviation min and max. And if we list the first 10 observations of the data, this is how time series data looks like. It's key that we have a year or the T dimension in the data set. That is very, very important because if this is the dependent variable, these are the independent variables. This one is a YT. It refers to to this year as the time series dimension to the 1953 year. So it's very important that we keep track of each, which year we are referring to when we talk about our Y and X variables here. If we want to uh, explore this data in more detail, we can uh, enter tabulate year right here. And that would, that would give us the frequency for each year. And we have one observation because it's truly a time series data with just one observation per year. And you can see we have the 38 observations, which are the 38 years. Moving on, the next type of data that we consider is the pooled cross sections. So in this case, uh, we have an example on housing uh, prices. So here, this data set uh, has two years of data, 1978 and 1981. But the key aspect of this data is that houses are different in each year. So not the same house is sold in each of these two years. So again, we don't have the same price for the same house in both years. If we read in the data set, uh, this is the name of the data set, and we keep the following variables in the data set, we can describe, summarize, and list the first 10 observations. 
when we describe the data, we see that we have 321 observations and we have six variables. Now, these observations are for the two years, different houses. Our uh, year, uh, year variable is uh, either 1978 or 1981. Price is the selling price of the house. Then we have the number of room bathrooms. We can use an alternative log price, say as a dependent variable. And we can also form a dummy variable Y81, which would be equal to one if year is 1981. Otherwise, it will be equal to zero for the previous year, 1978. If we summarize the data, this is the average price that we have. Um, um, 196100 uh, dollars Of course, the mean of the year is uh, meaningless in this case, but we have on average 6.5 rooms, 2.3 baths, and the log of the price of this variable is 11. If we list the first 10 observations, we can see there for year 1978, these are the houses that got sold. These are the prices. These are the rooms, the bathrooms. Here we can have a log price instead of the original price variable. And here's a dummy variable for whether the year is 81. Well, here it is not 81 because it's the 78. So if you open the data browser and you see the rest of the data, you will also see that some of the observations below have the year 1981. And for them, that, that dummy variable would be equal to one. If we tabulate year, we can see how many observations we have per year. So tabulate year, we have 179 observations for the first year, 142 for the second year. This is the total number of observations that we have. Now, instead of summarizing the price across both years, we can summarize um, this is the price across both years, which is 96,100, but we can find, we can summarize the price in the before year, year equals 1978. If we, uh, call summarize price, if year equals 1978, notice the double equal sign here and summarize the price if the year is equal to 1981. So this is in the second period. So we can see that the average price across both periods is this, but it's 76,000 something in the first period, whereas it's $120,000 uh, something in, in the second year. So this is uh, pooled cross sections. So the final uh, type of data that we would consider is the panel or the longitudinal uh, data. So in this case, we have panel data for wages of individual across years. We have eight year panel uh, for individuals. And the key aspect of a panel data is that data um, is for the same individual across multiple years. So in this data set, NR would be the person identifier and, and time would be uh, identified as year. So if we read in the data set, we can keep the following variables for our analysis and describe, summarize, and list the first 10 observations. So describe command gives us that NR is the person identifier year we have from 1980 to 1987. And then we have experience, annual hours worked, education, and log of wage are going to be our variables. If we summarize the data, we have, um, we have say average experience six years, hours worked just over 2000 hours, education 11 years, and this is the average for the log wage. Here are the first 10 observations of the data. Notice that here, this is our I, the cross sectional dimension. This is our T, the time series dimension. So here we have um, person number 13, data for all these years for the person number 13. And then the second person is number 17, and we have the years for that person. 
So now if we talk about how many hours a person has worked, we need to keep the I dimension and the T dimension. So this is the hour work, the hours worked for person number 13 in 1984. So that is how uh, panel data looks like. If we tabulate year, we can see that out of all of the observations that we have in the data, we have uh, each year has equal number of observations. So uh, equal number of individuals uh, for all the years. This is an example, an example of perfectly balanced data set. So this concludes the overview of the different types of data that we would consider.